All right, frugal friends, we've got a lot of stuff to go through, uh, mostly from the dollar store, but also from uh, Zercher's and Joann's. Lots of goodies, lots of fun treasures from this weekend's picks. So let's just jump in and... tablecloth laid down here on the wood floor and most of the stuff is in this tote or in the other tote but what I'm going to do is as I'm showing them to you I'm going to take them out and kind of put them into sorted piles here on the tablecloth to make my life just a little bit easier. Okay when I first found these in the dollar store bin I thought they were Chex Mix. I was wrong. Olivia pointed out that they are actually just regular plain Chex cereal which hey that is just fine with me. That is awesome. We will definitely keep these add them to our own pantry. We'll do the same Ooh, be careful there's some breakables we're gonna do the same with all of these fabulous animal crackers school is starting very very soon and these will come in so handy in the kids' lunches we do home lunch and so yeah this is just gonna make life that much easier more stuff less that I have to buy and you know yummy stuff that can go in their lunches and no they are not expired opened anything like that so super awesome there's a whole bunch of them in here gonna have to gather all those up there were also these little cards something called altergeist I don't know spellcaster this is not some oh Yu-Gi-Oh that's what they are I'm not terribly familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh but that's those okay we'll see if Reagan wants those he's he's a Pokemon boy so we'll see um this was in the Zercher's bin. It is a ginormous glass vase. And I was actually just thinking my gladiola are in bloom right now. I might chop a few of those, snip, snip, and arrange them in this vase. Have it here in the house. That might be fun. It's got some kind of note. Uh, the Jordan Landing Store called and want this 12-inch trumpet vase transferred to them, but I wasn't 100% sure how to do that. Is it the same as putting things in boxes for Spence? I don't know. Um, that's kind of funny because so someone else, like they needed to take it to another store, but then they never did, but they didn't put it back on the shelf either. I don't understand what happened there. Anyway, it's marked at $6.13. Only for us, it was free. Oh, there's Reagan. I'll hand him those cards and see if he wants to do anything oh, with those. Okay, awesome. Just that's okay. Add them to your collection. Still uh, looking at food. These are a bunch of. Hold on, Reagan. I'm gonna have you do something. A bunch of Otter Pops. There was a whole box, but some of them had opened and kind of leaked, and so of course they threw it away. But we just got the ones that were still sealed. Reagan, will you go put these in the sink? I'm gonna wash them off, rinse off all the stickies. Because we don't want that around, especially with all the deep cleaning we're doing right now. Uh, taking a break from that blasted kitchen revamp, my goodness sake. There is a whole big, huge bottle. This is like, what, a three liter, I think, of Shasta Cola. We'll just add that to our food and cleaning supplies. Coke can be used for several cleaning applications. Water. Some of you know that I've been thinking about, well, or just planning on adding more water to the van. I like to have emergency water on hand, but also after running into that homeless man, um, several people recommended, you know, care packages that I can hand out and also having bottled water in the van. Well, hello, look at this, straight out of the bins. Actually, Olivia found it on the ground. Uh, outside of the bins but anywho one bottle obviously was broken open empty but the rest are just fine so I'm just gonna take these out and wash them up and they will go right back into the van okay I think that's all for food then we've got some 
soft soap, well, off-brand spa soap, uh, some refill. Mimi, will you go put that in the bathroom under the sink? Thank you. Which bathroom? Upstairs. Okay. We have a mm -hmm. double mask. It's got some issues, but we could totally work with that. This part is cracked. Um, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And, oh, this is from Zurchers, and we already have a pitchfork from Zurchers as well. We will never need to buy costumes again, you guys. P.S. I have gotten several costumes from Zurchers uh, listed on our eBay page. Yeah, go ahead, Mimi. Be careful. Part of it's broken. We need to fix it. I've gotten several of the costumes listed on eBay, so check our eBay link in the video description if you're interested in any of those. We have some more of the broken foam wreaths so many craft projects you can do with these even broken um a little bowl of some kind several frames and of course the glass is broken in all of them but that is not a problem we find oh that one actually has a picture i didn't realize that we find uh frames with broken glass or broken glass with perfectly or sorry broken frames with perfectly good glass all the time so uh, I save the frames I save the pieces of glass that are good and then just like with my lids and totes we end up putting them together and plus there's plenty of crafting projects and applications for just frames without glass at all so we'll clean those up and put them in the attic. This is pretty awesome. Still has the tag on it. How cool is that? And it is a Star Wars reusable bag. Not bad at all. It's got a little tear right here. That, I mean, that's like two seconds on the sewing machine. No problem. There are, let's see, we've got a cup. Tumbler goblet includes snack container. Oh, that's what that's about. That must come with it. I don't know, like that. I, I don't know if there's supposed to like be a lid or something that goes with it also, but we'll, we'll make use of it. There is a package of pen or pencil grips. Ooh, spooky. Megan actually typed it on me. Okay, let me let me work on this and then we'll we'll play with those. More uh, foam. A whole bunch of decals. They're like uh, let's see. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, they're peel and stick and they're for walls, doors, furniture, etc. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay, yep, these are removable. These ones got pretty pretty well destroyed, but um, I don't know. This side looks like it's still good. And I don't know that we have anything we'll even do with these, but we can add them to our crafting supplies for now. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, those are adorable. Okay, so, and those are fun. We'll just add those to our crafting supplies and we'll, I don't know, we'll see what we come up with. Animal crackers, a bunch of these lids. There weren't the cups that go with them, but I don't know. Ideas, thoughts, guys? What what other things can I do with these besides just trying to recycle them? I know one of you crafty people will come up with something. Uh, let's put them over here. Okay, this is... Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's a beach ball, and it has a thing, a cup. I'm guessing it's a cup, but the paint has, has worn off quite a bit. I mean, it's obviously, you can still use it. I'm thinking this would be fun to turn into like a BB-8 with some paint. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, a headband. A bow. Uh, a couple of other headbands. There are several of these little crown clippy things. There's a few more down there. They're from uh, Zurchers. A light up rose that still works. This is uh, a metal autumn owl. It was part of something like this, but you know, has broken, but that's okay because hello, we can totally add that to some kind of craft. And then this is a pick, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out in the uh, out in the yard today. It spins. Little whirly gig. How cool is that? Then 
see. Does this look familiar? One of our viewers, one of you awesome people sent us this same magnet. What I'm going to do, it's missing the magnet, but we have tons of magnets from the bins. So I'm just going to put a new magnet on there and there you go. P.S. If you are interested in sharing anything with the frugal family, look for the P.O. box in the video description. There you go. Uh, some kind of box. Hold on, Reggie. Uh, another hair scrunchie. I've got to fix that bag though. A whole bunch of these little favors for, you know, baby showers. There's a whole bunch of them and I'm going to wash them up and we will put them upstairs in our party supplies. Okay. There is a broken cup. Why did we grab a broken cup? Well, for the same reason <clears throat> that we were willing to take uh, this broken glass and several other broken bits because we are adding them to our um, mosaic collection. We've got tons and tons of ceramics and glass. And as soon as I have all the colors that I want, every time a dish breaks or we find broken ones, we, you know, I've got all of them in a box and I am going to make some mosaic steps, like little stepping stones for out in the garden. So that's what those are about. There is also some glitter glitter glue kind of stuff. There is a soap or lotion dispenser. A broken pair of glasses. These are another thing that um, we're collecting right now. I know it seems weird, but broken glasses of any kind, sunglasses, prescription glass, I don't care. I'm doing a craft, a art, <laughs> an interpretive art project with broken glasses. So we are definitely on the lookout for glasses. All right, in here, there is a thing of paints. Add that to our art collection. A whole bunch of the counting blocks. These are foam. Uh, Another lid, be real careful here. Some more broken glass to add to our mosaic collection. Tons and tons of little blue gems. Add those to our crafting supplies. And finally, another little votive holder and it is broken right there. So we have options. Oh, it's broken right there as well. We can uh, cover this, like decorate it or something and still use it as a votive. Or what I will more likely do is smash it up because this is so pretty and use that, you know, in our mosaics. All right, I'm gonna get this tidied up and then we will go on to the next one. All right, just a few more things. We've got the headless dog skeleton. The kids and I have decided we're gonna put a pumpkin head. <laughs> on him. I think that'll be awesome for Halloween. We are Halloween freaks. So yeah, he's going to go out in the yard. That will be fantastic. Uh, that was in the Joann's bin, one that I had never been to before. So that was pretty cool to find that. In that same bin, there was this basket, which is a little bit beat up right there. But you know, you know, my crafting friends, my repurposing upcycling friends, that we can fix that up. No problem. We will figure something out. I don't know where this will end up, but for now, it's just going to go with our crafting and project stuff, and uh, stay tuned. We will figure something out for it, and of course, we'll show you how it ends up. Then, in the Zercher's bin, there is this Balloon Time empty helium canister, and so the reason I grabbed this is because you may recall last time I found one of these, and it was even in the box and had the little tube thingy, nozzle thing but it ended up being empty and I ended up throwing it out thinking, oh, you know, what, what, uh, what the heck am I going to do with it? Well, I got smarter and I went and looked it up online and come to find out before I found this one, but after I threw away the other, you can resell these, just the canister you can resell online for a decent little profit. So when I saw this one this Sunday, I'm like, yep, we are absolutely grabbing that and selling it. All right, finally, a couple more dollar store items. There is a Glade air freshener. Does it have anything left? Ooh, it does. Mmm, and it smells good. Okay, then, uh, that's beyond repair. That'll be recycled. Flowers, add those to our crafting supplies. I'm gonna be real careful in here. There's lots of broken bits. Let's see, that's just garbage. Uh, there are some little foam bullets. We'll have to see if they fit any of our toys. 
But what there mainly is in here is more to add to our mosaic collection. A whole bunch of broken bowls with this really pretty sunflower uh, pattern, well not pattern, but imagery, graphics, that's the word, sunflower graphics on there. So, and a really nice kind of off-white. I think these will be a, you know, a really nice addition to our mosaic collection. Stay tuned to see what we end up doing with that. But let me, let me show you why I think this is going to work out. So here in our kitchen, the blasted kitchen that I've been redoing for two weeks, uh, painting and all that nonsense, when we gutted the kitchen initially and redid everything, I had the idea to do this mosaic above the kitchen sink. It was a lot of work and it was a pain in the neck and the hands and everywhere else, but I love how it turned out and I've always wanted to do another mosaic of some kind. So next, Mimi, Reggie, shh. Next on the list is some stepping stones for the garden. So yeah, this is kind of the idea with all these broken bits of ceramic and pottery and even glass uh, that we find in the bins, gathering all those up. And like I said, every time a dish breaks, which happens often, including my favorite dumpster mug the other day, that was sadness. All of them are going to be broken up even more into the right sizes and fitted together into something fabulous. Stay tuned. Well, thanks for joining us, frugal friends, for today's little reveal of this weekend's picks. I have enjoyed having just a tiny little break from the kitchen renovation, but I've got to get back to it because Mimi and I leave to Seattle a week from today, and I've got a long list of stuff to do. So, all right, have a beautiful day, frugal friends, and uh, we'll see you really soon.